Okay, here we have an interesting uh, equipment installation. Let's uh, let's take a look at what we got here. So, the pool was plumbed with poly pipe, and so we've got poly here, and it looks like that's been a that's been heat bended there. So somebody heated that. They didn't do it right. It's I can feel it. It's it's crimped over right here, but they heated this this pipe. And it might even be no, it is poly. So it's poly. And then they've gone and glued an uh, inch and a half ABS coupling. And then looks like a little pipe stub here of some, some other kind of material. And then there's an interior fit barb fitting. And then inch and a half flexible PVC. This is just a disaster right here. There, there's like 10 things wrong between here and here. It's really bad. Um, ABS should absolutely never be used on a swimming pool system for lots of reasons. Let's start with one, it is not compatible with chlorine based systems. Uh, two, it is not pressure rated. It's not made for pressure applications. It's more made for drainage applications. Um, the length of the slip on this coupling is barely three quarters of an inch long. Um, so it's not, it's very likely that this would let go. Now this is, this is a suction side, so it won't blow out in the same way that a return side would, but, uh, it's, I mean, it's still wrong for so many reasons. Uh, and then also including this 90 directly into the suction side of the pump, obviously is a huge re flow restriction as well. So this is pretty darn, pretty darn bad. I'm almost impressed with how many mistakes they made in about only 12 inches of space there. Uh, at the top of the pump into the filter out of the filter we transition back into ABS so all of this is ABS so all of this is wrong and that's pressure side now so I mean one day you're gonna come home and you're gonna find your entire pool has drained into the the pump room here um, or at least a good volume of it until the pump lost its prime uh, so down on the ground we have that that black ABS line there is our uh, is our pressure side line turn a corner there with it and we duck outside now outside here is a heat pump not a gas heater but an electric powered heat pump um, so it's kind of a similar application to a to a gas heater except it uses electricity and differential air pressure or sorry differential air temperature in order to uh, have an energy exchange and ultimately provide heat to the pool they're not like gas heaters in that you just feed money into it and it makes your pool hot. In fact, it's kind of the opposite. It takes less less money, I mean more electrical usage, but the performance is not really similar to a gas heater. You don't just turn it on and it cranks out heat. It can only work at certain times of year. It needs to be installed right with lots of room to breathe um, because they can sweat liters and liters of water a day. So you need to set it up in an area that uh, obviously has a lot of drainage built into it, needs a lot of direct sunlight. I mean where they're, they're great things to have. The area that I'm located in, in Southern Ontario, it's, they're not ideal. They don't really perform very well here and our, electric, our electrical costs are fairly expensive. And those units have a huge electrical draw, usually between 40 and 60 amp lines required, required for a heat pump. Uh, so that's the lines in and out. As you can see, we're, we still have ABS everywhere here. The line coming back in on top here, ABS. This is neat, I've never even seen somebody try this before. Clamping ABS. I mean clamping rigid pipe. Yeah, that's that's never gonna work. I mean It's not leaking currently, but it's a matter of time. This is a guaranteed failure right here Somebody somebody needs to come in here rip this entire system out and replumb it properly. This is this is one of the worst I've seen so far um, so then we get Turn this corner and here we have a saltwater chlorinator. Of course, there's no check valve or anything like that. So all this heavily chlorinated water is able to just flow directly backwards into that heat pump. The heat pump's probably worth $5,000. So they'll be really sad when it fails early because they didn't have a check valve there. Uh, moving along the system, you see that there. That's a metal barbed coupling. I mean, why not, right? Well, we, haven't used, we haven't used any of the right materials yet. Why start now? But Again, one day you're going to come home and you're going to find the pools drained into the pump room here because you've got non-pressure rated ABS, you've got metal couplings, like I mean the whole thing is just, just a disaster. This whole thing needs to be redone. Um, so that's my opinion on this system. It's bad. It's bad and it's in some areas and it's terrible in others. And this is just a, a big disaster waiting to happen and during which time you could lose thousands of dollars of equipment 
one of these lines blows apart, your pump's going to end up running dry and burning out. Uh, without a check valve, you're going to ruin the the um, the internals on the, the heat pump. And a heat pump is, you know, two, two and a half times as much as a gas heater. If it were mine, I'd sure want to protect it with a check valve.